Today in the Franciscan calendar, we remember Saint Mariana of uh, Pedidus, a, a beautiful lily actually sprouted forth from her blood. And ever since then, she's been called the Lily of Quito. Uh, but in a far greater way, did uh, she deserve the name because of the innocence of her life. She preserved her innocence unsullied in the midst of a, a wicked world, you know, carefully protecting it by the practice of uh, severe penances. From her earliest uh, childhood, she felt drawn to God and to heavenly things. And having uh, lost her parents while she was still quite young, she attached herself to Our Lady and with, with a total um, confidence and tender devotion. Uh, although she desired to enter the a convent, um, circumstances prevented it. She therefore uh, dedicated her virginity to God and, and received the habit of the Third Order from the, uh, the Franciscans in her native town of Quito, Ecuador. Uh, due to her great virtue, uh, she was permitted to take the three vows of religion and uh, she then uh, returned to her home where she led a life uh, hidden in God and devoted to prayer and to penance. Um, she left her solitude only when she went to attend uh, divine services in church or, or when charity to her neighbor required it and the outcast and marginalized were the uh, the main uh, object of her concern. On such occasions, um, she won the hearts of all she met by her uh, polite and friendly manner, even, even the most depraved among them. Um, she succeeded in many, leading uh, many of them back to the path of virtue. And uh, it should be noted that uh, Almighty God favored his faithful servant with extraordinary uh, mystical gifts in support of her apostolate um, by the means of the signs of the Holy Cross or by sprinkling holy water she restored many uh, sick people to health and even raised a, a dead woman to life and in uh, 1646 uh, Mariana was drawn into a more public display of devotion. At that time, Quito was being decimated by earthquakes, plagues, and natural disasters, uh, sure signs of the, the sinfulness of the inhabitants. Um, more than uh, 14,000 people had died, and when the local uh, dormant volcano erupted. You know, people were, were very much afraid. A local uh, Jesuit priest, Father Alonso de Roya, Ro Roya, Royas, um, offered himself publicly to the Lord as a, a victim that he might die to save the people from punishment. And, after his sermon, uh, Mariana rose from her pew, declaring that she would take the place of Father Royas. In her words, uh, he was a good priest and much more important to the people of Quito than she was. She then uh, asked the Lord to accept her offering that uh, she might be punished for everything in the city which deserved punishment. Um, she returned home and almost immediately was overcome with uh, illness. 
And all of uh, Quito prayed for her recovery, realizing what a, uh, a great sacrifice she had made for them. But uh, she was not to recover. She continued her prayer of reparation for almost uh, two months, at which time uh, she died. And immediately the earthquakes stopped. The volcano quieted. Um, and those stricken with the plague recovered. And uh, when she breathed her last, her body uh, fell over on the dirt floor and a white lily miraculously uh, sprang forth from the earth that was moistened by her blood. Um, as, as I mentioned earlier, uh, this is why she's known as the Lily of Quito. Uh, she was beatified by Pope Pius IX and canonized in 1950 by Pope Pius XII. And uh, he said of her at times, when especially impelled by love for God and fellow men, she affirmed herself, afflicted herself uh, severely to expiate the sins of others oblivious then to the world around her, and wrapped in ecstasy. Uh, she had a foretaste of eternal happiness. Thus, transformed and enriched by God's grace, she was filled with zeal to care not only for her own salvation, but also for that of others, to the utmost of her ability. She generously relieved the miseries of the poor and soothed the pains of the sick. And when severe public disasters, such as earthquakes and plagues, terrified and afflicted her fellow citizens, she strove by prayer, expiation, and offering of her own life to obtain from the Father of mercies that which she could not accomplish by human effort. Uh, the Holy Father also mentioned, uh, you know, not all, especially in our own times, understand the kind of uh, penitential life as, as they should, uh, nor do they pay it due honor. Indeed, many today consider it of little value, or they look upon it with contempt and completely ignore it. But we must bear in mind that after Adam's deplorable fall, penance is absolutely necessary for us. And so we pray uh, today for the willingness to sacrifice and to atone, um, not only for ourselves, but for everyone, taking uh, Saint Mariana as uh, an example of the joy of self sacrifice and suffering. You know, we have to remember um, if our self-denial doesn't uh, lead to charity, the, the penance is being practiced uh, for the wrong reasons. Um, the penance of uh, Mariana made her more sensitive to the uh, to the needs of others and more uh, courageous in trying to uh, serve the needs of others. So may our penance do the same.